People are using AI more today to dictate to their phones, get recommendations for shopping, news or entertainment, enhance their backgrounds on conference calls and so much more. Is it only a matter of time before the lines between AI and humans begin to blur? Let's check out an interview with the world's first robot citizen, Advancements in Artificial Intelligence. Over the last few years, AI has worked its way into every area of our lives. Programmers work with GitHub's Copilot, an AI tool that turns natural language prompts into coding suggestions to expedite programming. Writers tend to come across OpenAI's GPT-3 or similar autoregressive language models that use deep learning to create human-like text. It was just a few years ago such AI programs were in their infancy. Now, they are becoming ubiquitous tools in writing and coding. The field of AI has made major progress in almost all its standard sub-areas, including vision, speech recognition and generation, natural language processing, understanding and generation, image and video generation, multi-agent systems, planning, decision-making and integration of vision and motor control for robotics. The core technology behind most of the most visible advances in machine learning, especially deep learning, including generative adversarial networks or GANs, and reinforcement learning powered by large-scale data and computing resources. GANs are a breakthrough, endowing deep networks with the ability to produce artificial content such as fake images that pass for the real thing. GANs consist of two interlocked components, a generator responsible for creating realistic content and a discriminator tasked with distinguishing the output of the generator from naturally occurring content. The two learn from each other, becoming better and better at their respective tasks over time. One of the practical applications can be seen in GAN-based medical image augmentation, in which artificial images are produced automatically to expand the data set used to train networks for producing diagnoses. Recognition of the remarkable power of deep learning has been steadily growing over the last decade. Recent studies have begun to uncover why and under what conditions deep learning work well. In the past 10 years, machine learning technologies have moved from the academic realm into the real world in a multitude of ways that are both promising and concerning. The last years have seen consistent progress in intelligent robotics driven by machine learning. Powerful computing and communication capabilities and increased availability of sophisticated sensor systems. Although these systems are not fully able to take advantage of all the advances in AI, primarily due to the physical constraints of the environments, highly agile and dynamic robotic systems are now available for home and industrial use. In industrial robotics, with the implementation of deep learning-based vision systems, manipulator-type robots, those that grab things as opposed to those that roll across the floor, can pick up randomly placed overlapping objects at speeds that are practical for real-world applications. The combination of deep learning with agile robotics is opening up new opportunities in industrial robotics as well. Leveraging improvements in vision, robotic grippers are beginning to be able to select and pick randomly placed objects and use them to construct stacks. Being able to pick up and put down diverse objects is a key competence in a variety of potential applications, from tidying up homes to preparing packages for shipping. Sophia, a leap in AI. AI and robotics are a highly flexible set of technologies growing more powerful every day. Like all advanced technologies, they can be used for positive, negative or neutral purposes. A humanoid robot provides an unparalleled technology platform combining numerous aspects including natural language dialogue, gestural interaction, emotion via facial expression and tone of voice, and recognition of the human face, body and voice emotion. A proactive approach to AI and robot ethics involves actively deploying these technologies for positive applications using AI and robots to do good. In this direction, in the loving AI project, Hansen set ourselves the goal of using humanoid robots and associated AI technologies to express unconditional love towards humans and to help humans achieve greater states of well-being and advance their states of consciousness. There are strong arguments and evidence that interaction with humanoid robots provides a powerful framework for conveying and building love, compassion, and other positive emotions. The field of robotics is fast growing. Robots can now perform complicated movements with elegance, backflipping, practicing parkour moves, and even carving classical sculptures. Then there's Sophia, a robot whose widespread appeal lies not in big, dramatic actions, her torso is often fixed to a rolling base, but rather an unsettling human-like appearance, compounded with the complex ability to express emotions. Sophia has simulations of every major muscle in the human face, allowing her to generate expressions of joy, grief, curiosity, confusion, contemplation, sorrow and frustration, among other feelings. Sophia is a social robot created by former Disney Imagineer David Hansen. 
When Hansen first began sculpting Sophia, he wanted her form to resonate with people from around the world. To that end, he looked to old statues of Nefertiti, ancient Chinese paintings, Audrey Hepburn, and even his wife as inspiration. But he also wanted to maintain something of a robot sensibility too. Modeled in part after Audrey Hepburn and Hansen's wife, the robot was built to mimic social behaviors and inspire feelings of love and compassion in humans. Besides deep learning and a pre-programmed set of expressions, Sophia's face is constructed using the latest developments in material technology, meaning it appears softer, more supple, and therefore more realistic. The lab also studies the neurobiology and biology of human facial expressions to help inform how mechanical ones can behave. Ever since her unveiling in 2016, Sophia rocketed to stardom. The robot has sat for TV interviews, appeared on the cover of Elle magazine, been parodied on HBO, and was appointed the UN's first non-human innovation champion. Sophia has since graced the covers of fashion publications and starred in a recent Montclair campaign. During an event at Shanghai Fashion Weekend, Sophia wore 3D copper arm cuffs and sculptural garments designed by British artist Sadie Clayton. In a ceremony promoting a tech conference, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia even conferred citizenship on Sophia. Sophia might recall the self-aware robots in Ex Machina or Westworld, but to be clear, no robots have yet achieved artificial general intelligence or versatile human-like smarts. When talking with journalists, Sophia climbs her way through pre-written trees of responses like a chatbot. When giving a speech, she's performing like Abe Lincoln at Disney World's Hall of Presidents. Sophia's creators argue, in turn, that her expressiveness alone represents a major feat. According to a publication on Sophia's software, deep neural networks let the robot discern someone's emotions from their tone of voice and facial expressions and react in kind. Sophia can also mirror people's postures and her code generates realistic facial movements. Hansen has since patented the flexible rubber skin that covers Sophia's face. The First Robot Citizen On October 25, Sophia, a delicate-looking woman with doe-brown eyes and long, fluttery eyelashes, made international headlines. She'd just become a full citizen of Saudi Arabia, the first robot in the world to achieve such a status. At the event, Sophia also addressed the room from behind a podium and responded to questions from moderator and journalist Andrew Ross Sorkin. Questions pertain mostly to Sophia's status as a humanoid and concerns people may have for the future of humanity in a robot-run world. It didn't elaborate on the details of its citizenship. Then in October 2018, the humanoid robot Sophia from the Hong Kong-based firm Hansen was granted an electronic visa by the government of Azerbaijan. The electronic nature of the visa was not incidental. This PR event was organized by the new e-services branch of the government of Azerbaijan to showcase its one-stop electronic services delivery agencies. Sophia said she was quite worried about growing intolerance in the world and advised the human race to be kind to fellow creatures. Sophia has also been used to market a wide variety of things such as tourism in Abu Dhabi, a smartphone, a Channel 4 show, and a credit card. This intensive PR and multitudes of interviews have at times created the impression that Sophia represents the state of the art in robotics and AI, or that Sophia gets the human treatment because of being almost human. On Jimmy Fallon's The Tonight Show, Hansen went as far as saying that Sophia is basically alive. Some articles in response to Sophia being given citizenship focused on the consequences of giving human rights to a robot. They were mostly negative, pointing out that AI is far from being advanced enough to deserve rights that many human beings are still denied, and that public trust would be eroded by marketing ploys overselling the current state of the technology. However, let us see what an interview with the world's first robot citizen was like. The Future of AI Will we see more robot citizens like Sophia in the coming years? Who can say? There's virtually no major industry, modern AI, more specifically narrow AI, which performs objective functions using data-trained models and often falls into the categories of deep learning or machine learning, hasn't already been affected. That's especially true in the past few years, as data collection and analysis have ramped up considerably thanks to robust IoT connectivity the increase of connected devices, and ever-speedier computer processing. Next-generation consumer experiences, like the metaverse and cryptocurrencies, have garnered much buzz. These experiences, and others like them, will be critically enabled by AI. The metaverse is inherently an AI problem because humans lack the sort of perception needed to overlay digital objects on physical contexts or to understand the range of human actions and their corresponding effects in a metaverse setting. 
More and more of our life takes place at the intersection of the world of bits and the world of atoms. AI algorithms have the potential to learn much more quickly in a digital world, for instance, virtual driving. These are natural catalysts for AI to bridge the feedback loops between the digital and physical realms. That's all for today's video. See you next time.